The Bible reads, For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your souls, saying, Ye must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. So there was people in the book of Acts, there was new churches or younger churches, they were being troubled by some people who were coming from this same group of people, right? They had received the gospel from Jerusalem, they received the gospel of the apostles, and now all of a sudden, there's some other people that are coming in that are from that same group, and they were preaching. They said, oh, well, no, you, you also have to be circumcised and keep the law, which is totally not the gospel. So they're bringing a false gospel in, and they were subverting souls then by preaching them this work salvation. And he says, we gave them no such commandment. We didn't send these people out to do that. They came out from us, but they were not of us. Look at 1 John chapter 2, verse number 18. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, look at this, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. There's a lot of people that are going to be trying, or, you know, some wicked people are going to be coming in and trying to split up the movement, try to deceive people, try to subvert souls, and to gain the trust of the unstable souls. They're trying to beguile the unstable souls. And the tactic that they use is going in, making themselves look like everybody else, like, oh, oh, here's the group of people that I believe, you know, the independent fundamental Baptists, I believe that, you know, I feel safe, I feel like I could trust someone who has these labels and who's teaching these things, and, oh, where did this guy come from? Oh, he came out of Hiles Anderson, oh, he came out of, you know, this Bible college, that Bible college, and then you find out they're teaching all these heresies and all these false doctrines, just like Jack Scott, he's a perfect example at the Hiles Anderson College. There's, some, there's an institution that was created doing all kinds of great works in, in its heyday for the Lord, you know, doing great soul winning and, and a lot of good teaching and stuff. From what I understand, now look, I've never been there personally, so I don't have first-hand knowledge of this. This is second-hand off of, of... And just seeing the fruit of people have come out of there and are soul winners and they're doing good things, right? I mean, I can at least see that much. I've seen that first-hand the fruit of many people who had gone previously in years and decades past that had attended that, that institution. But then you've got Jack Scott who gets into power and then you know he's running the whole show there and he's the main pastor and slowly he begins to reveal who he really is. When he starts coming out with this stuff like, oh yeah, well the King James Bible isn't, isn't inerrant. He'll say it's perfect and then, and then uses that with a different definition of perfect and try to say that, well, no, there actually are errors. And he's been real slick. With, and then, of course, ultimately he got uh, arrested for, for filthy communications and, and with a, basically pedophilia as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it was uh, under a, you know, this, this teenage girl, he was having some... Um, relations with and, and lying about it and doing all, and just doing all kinds of, of perversion. And uh, he's been outed. That's been made public. And he went to jail for that. And I don't know what's going on. I don't follow it that much. But he's a perfect example of someone who was part of the group, came out from that crowd, but he wasn't of them. That, was, that wasn't, he, he's, he was wicked on the inside. The guy's, the guy's a false prophet. The guy's a reprobate. I mean, you, could, you can see everything that he did and all the lies that he told and, and, and trying to fit in and look like that's where he belonged and then coming out with, with all of his heresies and all the, just the subverting tons of souls. They went out from us, but they were not of us.